Hey guys, it's Quirdy Afro here bringing you my first ever Train Simulator 2014 video. Uh, this video will be just a rundown of like the changes and the new menu look and stuff and then from now on I'm going to be doing different scenarios and stuff on Train Simulator 2014. So I hope you enjoy the ride and um, let's just get into it. First of all, before I start uh, looking at the new menu and stuff, uh, Bob Ranger, who commented on my previous video uh, for 20% off the West Coast Mainline, I will be sure I'll be definitely giving you a message on Steam if I have you. Or if if you don't have me on Steam, I'll add you. I'll send you a message or whatever because I'll give you. I'll trade you the 20% of coupon you can get for West Coast for the West Coast Mainline. So guys, if you want to get any of these coupons I have, just uh, tell me which one you want in the comment section below. Say like 20% off for. Uh, uh, Munich to Augsburg or whatever, but um, if you want to know which coupons I have, I'll uh, leave a link in the description of the video uh, that I did before this that explains at the beginning of which coupons I have to give away. But it's not really a giveaway, it's basically you guys comment down below and you just tell me which coupon you want. So let's get into this video. Uh, we have uh, this new game and it has a very nice new menu. They've definitely changed it from the previous two. And the previous two I really didn't like. They were very simple, very basic, and uh, it didn't look like a lot of time went into them. And definitely this one, they've definitely changed it up so it's very appealing to newer customers, newer newer fans that would uh, future fans of this game that um, would get into this game and not think, oh, it's just a train simulator. It's probably really boring. Why do people play it? But I definitely think if, if I was someone that didn't play this game and I opened this up, it definitely looks like a very appealing game. And I thought the game previously was really appealing, but just the, like when you went into the menu, it just didn't, it just kind of stopped there. And then when you went into the game, it kind of revived itself. But right now, you open up the game and it actually looks really fresh and really good. And it's like, oh yeah, I want to play. What, what's, what's, what's happening with this game? I want to play. So uh, let's get into it. Let's uh, see what uh, what um, basically. Obviously, when you load up, you get like a video and whatever, which you press escape if you want to skip it. Just so um, it just uh, it's, uh, basically the trade of the game. So just press escape if you don't want to watch it. And then you get into this. This is the new main menu. I love the new picture of uh, the main picture for the game now. It's really fresh. And I love the glares and stuff in it. It just it, it livens up the kind of uh, brand of Train Simulator. You have uh, your settings up here, which are pretty much the same, just uh, graphics and stuff. You also have this thing with the Google Maps overlay uh, for people that are making new scenarios and stuff. You can use Google Maps as an overlay, as a template, which is pretty cool. So we're going to be seeing definitely more detailed uh, scenarios by people who uh, exploit that um, feature. Uh, gameplay is just the same. It's pretty much the same uh, throughout these whole, uh, whole uh, setting options. Nothing too different. Uh, when you go around here, you also have like this little pop-up. There's a lot of different little pop-ups that tell you to like click on stuff and that, like the community page and whatever. Here you also have like the store with a, a featured offer, like say uh, uh, Munich to Hamburg, and then basically you just it just opens to that, which is really cool. So most stuff is now in game, and then when you add it to cart, it just opens up the Steam overlay, and uh, you get that. Obviously, I was just on the store. I don't know why I clicked away from it, but the store is basically here. You get like a selection of what, like at ho on the home section, you get like your top, um, top going uh, stuff that's being sold right now. You have the featured, and you'll see a bestseller, which I don't know why none is coming out. Maybe they haven't added any yet. Then you have your locos, uh, what you can buy, which is a nice good selection. And you have the routes that you can buy. And also, then you have the marketplace tab, which is for something I don't know what they're. I don't think they're doing it initially, but in the future, probably you'll be able to sell maybe your own design of locos or your own design of routes and stuff. So uh, definitely, this would be a, a very interesting thing to see that they can put in implement into this game because I know that there's people that make really good trains and routes and stuff that wouldn't be too bad for them to sell it. You know, make a bit of money out of it. And uh, it'll be definitely good quality if, if you're gonna sell something. Uh, it obviously has to be good to, to drive and um, play it, um, and, and it for for it to be good because um, you can subscribe to a free scenario on the workshop that's really good, and then someone could uh, post a kind of similar one which is the same. And why would you then pay for it? So obviously these scenarios that people maybe in the future that will do would be much better. Uh, the next one we have build, and this is mainly for people that uh, build. Um, Build uh, scenarios and stuff like that. It's just basically the same: edit route, clone route, rename route, delete route, new route. 
uh, open root from folder, scenario editor, etc. And, uh, and accept that you have that new Google uh, Maps overlay. And they've also made some other adjustments and stuff to make it easier when you're editing a route. I won't be touching that because I don't make the I don't make the routes. I just play this game to uh, play the routes. Then you have Engine Driver, their kind of new flagship kind of blog, whatever, where everyone would be like posting articles and stuff. You have little, little polls and stuff you can do, which is pretty good. And it's just basically a social hub for like the community to go to, to post stuff and just have everyone centered there because there was no real main focus. Like there was the engine driver before, but it wasn't really like the main hub for everyone to be like logged on to to, to post stuff and like that. It was just making it a simple blog. So it's definitely a, uh, an improvement from the old engine driver. Uh, next we have the collection tab, which goes into like what stuff you have. You have your. Um, uh, what locus you have, what routes you own, and also the marketplace when you eventually buy stuff. Uh, you have also your workshop subscriptions, which I'm not going to click on that because it kind of can crash the game or kind of can cause uh, uh, loading uh, issues. It's basically it just loads all your scenarios you got from the workshop, and I wish they would fix that and maybe put in like multiple selections and stuff where you can multiply uh, delete uh, a, a lot of. Um, you can select a lot of uh, scenarios to delete at one time or whatever because I think it's just annoying that it keeps just loading continuously like previously you would have to wait till all the scenarios that you've downloaded that so they can load up in the list um, also uh, let's just uh, move on to the career section which is the thing that they've really trying to emphasize for this game that they've made it so that you can have achievements you can have uh, medals and stuff that you can earn from playing scenarios and stuff career missions and you can have like all your friends and stuff here that um, that are doing it as well if they're doing it like that it's pretty good uh, and I, I definitely it would be interesting to see uh, people using this feature and it coming alive and you um, uh, seeing like what we, what your friends, what level they are on, if they play Train, uh, train Simulator, I think that's really good because before it felt like you were playing it by yourself and even though they uh, put in that, was it, crossplay feature, which I think is still stupid, it doesn't really feel like you're connecting with people that play this game. And then finally you have the drive uh, section which is obviously self-explanatory but we have uh, your career which just loads up all your kind of career missions and stuff like that, pretty self-explanatory. You have Encrypt Drive, it's simple again, you have the random feature, you cho choose a train, route and environment. Uh, you have also tutorials, which I think, uh, it takes uh, tutorial missions from the different um, maps and routes you have. But uh, I, d I haven't really looked too much into it, but it's just, you know, just gives you those kind of missions where it says, oh, you need to learn a train or whatever, and it puts them all there. So I don't know why other ones are not there, but I don't know, it might be a glitch or something. Then you have your, just your standard uh, missions, which um, also show the uh, missions you've subscribed to from uh, the workshop, which is, uh, I would recommend, where you would come and look for your um different missions that you subscribe to from this uh, workshop instead of going to your workshop su subscription through the collection tab. Then you have free roam which is again self explanatory you just have all your free roam missions listed here where you can go in different maps and stuff. And then you have the resume button which just resumes you back into a, uh, a scenario whatever you're doing. Uh, and also down here you have this little control method which just switches it from simple to expert. Uh, for simple it's just uh, simple controls where you don't actually earn XP and medals. But this is mainly for newer players to the game. And then when you get a bit better you just use the expert ones and you can get XP's and medals. And uh, it's just basically the normal how a HUD that in game as before for the expert mode. Probably the simple one is just a really simplified version for, for, new, for newcomers to the game. So let's just quickly go into the game and just, actually let's just do a quick random would be fun. Okay, let's do, let's do, let's do a steam, let's, let's, do, let's go. Um, yeah, there's nothing really too different in the game graphic wise. They've said that they've fixed some kind of like glare, they've improved the glaring and stuff like that. But there's, you're not going to get this game and be like, oh my god. Um, or people that have updated it from 25. I mean, there's not going to be a, like, oh my god, they've changed this. Oh, it looks so different. No, it's it's pretty much the same game 
from 2013. Some few tweaks and minor things there, like the new speeding um, indications been changed as well. Uh, there's the, yeah, there's nothing really much different. Uh, there's nothing too different from 2013. So uh, um, I'll show you a bit of the kind of gameplay and stuff with this quick random quick drive I did, and then basically from now on, like uh, what. Uh, scenarios would you want me to do if you wanted me to uh, people have sent me uh, a request if they can send in uh, if they can send in uh, uh, scenarios and stuff they make and I can like uh, do a video of them which I said that is totally fine I, I wouldn't mind to do that uh, also tell me in the comment section below which kind of routes you want to see I know people are saying they want more Edinburgh to Glasgow and stuff like that. London Far Farisham, I've heard uh, comments about that. So just tell me in the comments below what kind of uh, what kind of stuff do you want me to do with twenty four uh, uh, train submitted twenty fourteen? Like what locos do you want me to drive? What what locos on what routes you want me to drive, etc. I really don't mind. Just 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 tell me in the comment section below, and I'll try and do it for this kind of like um, series of uh, train simulator let's play videos. And also, as I said, again, with the coupons, uh, just watch the previous video. The link will be in the description where you can actually just tell me what coupon you want. 20% off certain routes and 25% uh, off certain trains. So, let's just have a quick little ride in this uh, tank engine. I personally don't drive steam trains. So, this is definitely new for me as well. There's gallons of water, there's tons, there's PSI. Right. Oh, I need to release. I need to release the brake. There we go. Brake is released. Uh, there's no emergency brake wipers. There's no wipers. The lights. Oh, there's a light on it. That is so cool. Uh, then you have a blower. Sander. Sander works. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. So, let's go. Oh, look at that. Look at the mechanical wheels and that. That is so cool. And, oh, there comes the steam. So, this is Edinburgh Waverley Place, I do believe. So, let's go. This is a cargo train as well. It's not even a passenger train. But here we go, guys. This is my first time actually driving a steam train, just to put it out there. I think I, uh, when I started playing 2012, I probably drive one, like, near Temple Combe, on the Temple Combe route. And I've never actually driven any more steam trains since then. I don't think throughout all of 2013 I've actually driven any steam trains. So this is, like, my first official one that I've actually, um, driven a steam train. So this is a first for everything. But yeah, as you can see, the game pretty much looks the same. There's nothing, there's nothing too different. And wow, you cannot see anything. <laughs> Literally can't see anything through here. Wow. Fire burning. Do we get any lights in here? No. Yeah, we're going. Something majestic about steam. But I, I don't, I don't, as you, as you know, I don't play a lot of steam engines. I mainly just play uh, D, uh, diesel locomotives and electric locos. So it's, it, this is definitely a little treat for me to just to play with on a steam engine. But if you guys want me to do steam, I don't mind. I can do some steam for you guys if you want it. Small injector. Wow, this is. I love the little indications and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah, let's go. We're going now. We're going now. Yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, there's no passenger seat. There's no. 
Like one thing, like look, okay, this is the this is the view now. Like I can't see anything, even if we're outside. I can't see anything forward, so I can't see any signals that come up. I'll have to like, you know, go through a. Um, I'll have to like go go for like a a different camera view just so I can see if there's like if there's anything. But I think we'll we'll stop at Haymarket platform four. And then we'll kind of end the video there. I think that'd be pretty good. Good. Yeah. I think that'd be. This is. A, I hope this was a good video, a good introduction into Train Simulator 2014. I can't see anything. We're gonna probably break out of a tunnel anytime soon. Let's just break now. Oh wow. Wow. Oh, we're not gonna make it. Are we gonna make it? Oh no. Uh, are we gonna make it? No. It doesn't matter if the straight it doesn't matter if the tank engine goes over. There we go. <laughs> really bad, I know. <laughs> Overrated. it. What the heck? Why is it telling me that I have like Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I do have twelve. <laughs> oh my god, it's just because it looks big, it looks longer on the map than it is in, in real life. But anyway, uh, that is pretty much it. Let's just do a nice scenic, um, po uh, scenic uh, camera view of the train going out the station, and we'll then end the video. As I said guys, if you have any quests of what I should do for Train to Mayor 2014, like what routes and stuff you want me to do, just tell me in the comment section below if you guys want any of those uh, uh, DLC coupons that I have, just just say and uh, yeah, just comment down which ones you want and I'll, I'll, I'll uh, trade it to you on Steam. I can favor the video if you want to. It's only if you want to. Uh, share it to your friends if you want to. Favor it if, if you want to. And if you want to con uh, stay uh, subscribed to the content that I upload, just subscribe. It's free and um, it just keeps you up to date of what I'm uh, uploading to my channel. And also for people that will be wondering, Cities of Motion 2 is coming out soon, so uh, definitely be in tune for that. Also, more some city and stuff, so everything's going to be coming out soon. Just need to make it. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys. See you in another Train Simulator 2014 video. Adios. Bye-bye.